Hello from Bali. It's been, oh, it's been an eventful week. Crashed the Scoopy, gave the Scoopy back, gave the Scoopy back yesterday to the hotel reception, showed them the damage and just told them, look, let me know how much it will cost to fix and everything like that. But they seemed fairly uninterested with it. They kind of brushed over it. But I said, look, just let me know the cost and I'll pay, uh, I'll pay the owner back. I haven't heard anything yet, so I'm just waiting to find out what will happen with that. Just picked up a new scooter. I'm going now to quickly get a bit of cash out to pay the final instalment. So I'll show you that in a little bit. Monica's waiting for me for a coffee. And you'll notice the other channel, the Freedom Machines channel on YouTube. There's a name change and it's Tuesday at Dobbs's. And the reason for that is because I got an email about two or three days ago now saying that I've breached a trademark legality. I think someone's trademarked the name Freedom Machines and I'm no longer not allowed to use the term Freedom Machines. So I've had to completely change it. It's no longer called Freedom Machines. It's now called Tuesday at Dobbs's and that's the weekly motorcycle chat. So a lot's been going on. I'll take you along today because I'm going to head off with Monica to a custom motorbike shop. I'll also show you the brand new wheels and, well, let's start the day with a coffee. This is probably within close proximity to us, Monica and my favorite coffee shop. It's literally 100 meters from us, great coffee, and they claim to make the best croissants in Bali. And they do. They do, don't they? Yes. They are delicious. Okay, today's video is sponsored by Car Vertical. That's the one-stop shop to check the history of any bike or car. They will scour a huge amount of places, whether it's old auction sites, car sales sites, national databases. They can scan details in over 25 different countries to bring you a comprehensive list of any imperfections or irregularities within your car or motorbike's history. So, I've got up a search that Carvert has sent me of a Land Rover Defender. Monica's actually told me here, Freddie, don't start pretending you're buying a Defender. <laughs> only say you're buying a Defender now when you're actually going to buy a Defender. And only say you're going to buy a Harley Davidson when you're actually going to buy a Harley yes. Davidson because people are now sick of the lies, mm -hmm. okay? Once I do it, I'm just gonna buy it and say I've got it, but no more lies now. So, <laughs> this is a Land Rover Defender. This is what you get. You pay your price. You can then go onto either mobile or desktop. It works brilliantly on each one. And you can see the complete history of that vehicle. So, Land Rover Defender. I can see the mileage is good, the theft's good, but accidents pops up here. If I keep scrolling down, I'll see that in 2015, damage was detected. I then carry on. Five years after that, in 2020, there was more damage detected. I can scroll through vehicle ownership, everything looks fine there. Mileage, fine. And then I get to damage. And I can see here, this was recorded as a category B write-off, and that means it cannot be repaired. The body shell has been crushed. So if this were me buying it, I think I may walk away from this. Again, just confirming some more potential damage. Thank you ah, so thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Delicious, thank you. Some more potential damage. You said in it's 2020. delicious, thank you. It looks delicious, doesn't it? Uh, more potential damage in 2020 scrolling down through all of the different databases. And this is interesting. I think it was just a bit further up, but it said that the vehicle was never actually legally scrapped. So clearly someone thought it was valuable enough to actually keep the vehicle. Have a listen to this. The value right now of this vehicle on the market would be about 32,000 pounds. But three years ago, in 2020, this vehicle sold for 3,500 pounds. I guess because it was in such a mangled state, it was worth almost nothing. So it's gone from three and a half thousand pounds now to potentially being repaired and worth a colossal amount more money. Scroll down to the end, thank you. And you can see 
atrocious damage. Really, if I were looking to buy this, I would have to make sure that there's someone who seriously knows what they're doing, uh, mechanic-wise, who repaired this, because that looks like it's beyond repair, it's so bad. But there you go, car vertical. Complete history check. Highly recommended if you're looking for a car or motorbike, go and check them out. You will get a 10% discount if you click on a link in the written description below or use code DOGS and that will auto generate the 10% discount too. So thank you to Car Vertical for sponsoring this video. No, that I can't start with a croissant. No, 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 I'm not doing that. Right, we'll tuck into this. The coffee is Balinese coffee exceptional. Just saw Himalayan Royal Enfield. That's just the second Royal Enfield that I've seen here in Bali in almost a month here because the taxes are so high. No one buys these big capacity bikes. But if I were touring around Bali and I had the availability, I'd take one of those Himalayans. Perfect bike for it. The ride for the final month here in Bali. I'll show you this probably in another video or two. Monica's been busy working, which makes a change. <laughs> Thanks, Fred. <laughs> so Monica's been busy working. I will show you that later, maybe in a week or so. Everyone's been telling me, Freddie, you, you got to upgrade. You've got to pick up an NMAX. Now, I know I crashed. I said I don't deserve it. Quick backstory. I went for a cheaper bike, actually, than the Scoopy because I know I didn't deserve it. Monica then came storming out of the apartment <laughs> and said, absolutely not, I'm not downgrading. So we had to fork out some extra money because Monica would not let me pick up the bike. I had a bike picked, but Monica thought it was so ugly. We, yeah. we had and it to, looked really uncomfortable. Yes, it looked uncomfortable, but it was cheap. And when you're like me, you don't deserve it. You go for cheap. Okay. NMAX 155 cc's. Interestingly, in the UK, this is a 125, but for other markets, it's 155 because they don't have the restrictions. It's a 2012 model. It is a good 20% bigger. Sorry. 20% bigger than the Scoopy. It feels really nice, although I think they've put aftermarket suspension on, so it's rock solid which I'm not a huge fan of, but it's, it's a really nice thing. You know what I want to find out? Why are these so popular? It's the first bike I've seen that I honestly think could potentially at least challenge the crown of Honda to be one of the most popular bikes because these are everywhere now, especially for the tourists. They love them. So it's got a very nice engine. It's got a lot of storage. I mean, have a look at that. That's probably 50% more storage than we had on the Scoopy. It's comfortable for two people and the weight is situated so low down because this is where you put the fuel. And I think, my guess is the fuel tank is somewhere low down here. So even though it's bigger than the Scoopy, it's so easy to ride because the weight feels like it's only about 15 centimeters above the ground. The only slight problem with that it's not a step through. So when we're going out to pick up our luggage or carry stuff, you can't do it as well. Mm -hmm. But I like it, looks good. I've upgraded my game. We no longer have the smallest bike in our complex. So Monica, you can get home with a proud face when you come back. <laughs> Love it. I'm really happy with it. I almost forgot. We're off to Malamadre, which is a place I went to about four years ago, had a custom bike there. They've since massively upgraded their showroom, so I really want to go and see what it's like. It's about 10 minutes away from here. So let's hit the road on our brand new NMAX.
Uh, Magdo was closed. Actually, it looked amazing. They were doing a photo shoot for the day, so we couldn't go in, which is a shame. But we've come to Treasure Custom Garage, and it looks well, they've got an even bigger selection, and they've got a coffee shop as well, so we'll go in. But quick update on the N Max. The suspension is horrible, really. I don't know if that's aftermarket suspension. It's got some race flags on it, but it's horrible. Really, really awful. Just awful. Crashes over all the bumps. It's agony. We'll see how we get on with it. I mean, I've, I've paid for it for a month. Oh, and a quick update. As I pulled into our apartment, I was stopped by reception. They're like, we've got the, the quote for fixing the panel on the Scoopy. 37 pounds. 700,000 rupiah. So I think that's fairly good. So I paid 37 pounds to fix the Scoopy, 37 pounds to fix the car. I'd say I got it pretty lightly. Let's have a quick look actually, just before we go in. Someone told me, is that the Honda Dominator? But I think these are all to rent. So that may be a Dominator. That looks like a tiny 125. These are, I've now figured out, the custom bikes to own in Bali by the look of things. Yamaha XSR 155. This is just the bigger CC version of what we get in Europe, which is the 125cc. It's probably, from what I've read, about 10% better in all areas. But if this gives anything to go by to the 125cc that's available for learner riders in the UK, this looks like a seriously top bike. Green, black, take your pick, take your pick, take your pick. It's all about the XSRs. It's incredible. Then you've got the big ones behind. And Monica, let me just show you this lovely little cub oh, as well. Beautiful. But I bet that's a member of staffs. That would be too precious for the locals to rent that out. Okay. Do you know, maybe my line could be changed. Maybe this could be the place for one final custom. But what I do want, if we get another custom, is to see what probably a slightly more slick and sharp looking custom looks. So last time we got one more on the ratty side, but if we get something like this, I'd be fascinated to see the difference. That looks very aggressive. They're growing on me, these, especially in black. The one we last saw was red and white, but get one of these in black. That looks superb. Let's go in. Let's get that one. Yeah, I know, that is tempting, isn't it? Just come through to the back of Treasure Garage and there are two bikes for sale here. They're both 250ccs. This is a Yamaha and the one behind it is one I haven't come across before, but this gives you an idea of the slightly larger custom barley bikes. You've got to be really careful because the money is so massive in Bali and Indonesia in general that there are so many zeros. If you miss one off, you're going to be in trouble. I was about to tell you that this black Yamaha is 800 pounds and that is unbelievable value, but it's actually 8,000 pounds because I missed off a zero when checking. So this is what 8,000 pounds looks like in Bali custom style. That's a 250cc Yamaha and the one behind it is around about 6,000 pounds. Really unique looking bike with that air scoop either side of the frame and the hyper-aggressive seat with fender on the back. Gearing, as a lot of places here do, they've got t-shirts, vests, and they've also got a really nice selection of stuff that you can modify your own bike with. So everything from sections for the wheels, headlamp covers, rear lights. I mean, look at some of these. They look fantastic. Gloves made in Indonesia, all great looking custom style with some panniers. I think I checked this company as well. In fact, they're one of treasures. So that'll be made here in Indonesia. Helmets, all the lowest profile. I don't know if you can pick that out, but that is about the lowest profile helmet I've ever seen in my life. Weird visors, different tanks, full face helmets little bit of luggage, big scooter there, seating area through at the back, and something that I cannot imagine you would ever be able to wear in Indonesia, and that's head-to-toe protective gear. And this is the garage. Huge place with one, two, three, four, 
about five people, five or six people working on a, on a massive range of stuff, ranging from simple commuter scooters to full-on projects. And I can see a V-twin engine there being worked on, real cruiser style, but such an eclectic mix of different bikes. It's fantastic to just sit here and watch the guys going to work. The custom ones predominantly over here on the right hand side. Well, a very kind member of staff said I could come in and film a bit around the back and this is what the workshop looks like. Can't believe I'm seeing this, an old BMW here, a cub just down here. And if you can hear me over all of the screwing and drilling, I'm right inside in the heart of the mechanics workshop. A cub completely stripped back, classic Bali style. And then you've got another cub being worked on there with some storage on the right hand side of it. Bit of storage up at the top. And I've seen a few customers here getting their bikes worked on, I'm sure, to order. And this is the kind guy that let me film it in here just to the right hand side, busy discussing that bike. Little cruise around the back. And one of the Yamaha XSRs around there. and a selection of tanks just leaning up. And I'm sure these are probably some articles of the work they've done. Dirty tracker from Bali. That's in Indonesian and the one at the back's in Indonesian. They're such an open bunch. I was clearly filming the mechanics at work just through a little section of window and one of the mechanics came over, came over to me and said, come in, yeah, just film. And I was like, what? He was like, yeah, just walk around, have a look around, see what we're doing. So I had free reign just to film anything I wanted. And you, you get to see a few different owners popping in and picking something off the shelf in the shop, whether it's a rear light or indicators or a front crash bar and just kind of putting it up next to their bike to see how it would look next to the custom bike. It's such a creative place. And we could have picked any number of custom shops. There's such an incredible scene here in Bali. Right, we'll wrap it up there. If you're looking for possibly buying a second-hand vehicle, whether it's a car or motorbike, do go and check out Car Vertical. Use code DOBS or click a link in the written description for 10% off. Thanks so much everyone for coming on. We'll see you in the next one.